Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and for today we have a mechanical keyboard. This one is from the company Kisan and the branding is Magic Force. Recently on the wire, the wirecutter.com there's a really good article about compact 68 keys keyboards, mechanical keyboards. I wanted to grab one of those entry level uh, keyboards and give them a try. Uh, this one comes with the gate brown, brown switches. Um, and the guys over at the wire cutter said that there's not a bigger difference between uh, the gate brown keys and the cherry keys so uh, this particular company sells the cherry uh, version as well slightly more expensive you know you're paying for the brand so i decided to go with a cheaper one and give them a try ideally my favorite uh, type key is the red one this one being brown it's uh, it's a little bit a little bit different than the red ones but i wanted to give it a try and see how it's going to perform in gaming and typing in office environment um, obviously saving space on my desk that it's full with keyboards and other hardware it was one of the main reasons to grab this one some additional good features detachable cable as you can see the cable is about uh, five feet I would, I would say i didn't measure it but uh, you know my experience with cables tells me that it's five feet comes uh, very well packaged um, it's additional key pull tool that they provide but being a floating key type of uh, keyboard you can actually pull some of the keys with your own fingers uh, most of them um, especially if you want to swap them with something else uh, inside the box we have a quick start guide and some some more information about the key combinations you can do with a fn and some of uh, combinations with a dip uh, switches in the bottom of the keyboard that you can um, stop some of the keys like the windows you can lock the windows key so you won't hit it by mistake when you're playing games uh, or change the uh, position of some of the keys you know it's a minor uh, customization that a lot of people like you can uh, switch kind of switch the spots of the, the windows key with the fn key uh, some other combinations so it's really nice uh, once you open it you will notice that the font is really interesting it's not your common and kind of a you know run-of-the-mill font they, they they went out a little bit in a different way uh, letters a little bit bigger and a little bit different font but I really like that um, as you can see easy to pull keys with the brown uh, and behind every single switch there's a LED uh, luckily uh, they uh, have uh, one uh, well actually from 0 to 10 uh, level of brightness I really like that uh, you can find your ideal spot there's some breathing effects and stuff like that. I'm going to show you at the end of the video in a little bit darker environment. Nicely rubberized feet on the bottom. Um, you can raise it up a little bit more if you like it. Other than that, there's four more lower rubber feet that you can lay it flat on your desk. Uh, you can see where you plug the USB and you run it. That's my only kind of uh, gripe about this, that you cannot route the cable in different locations, kind of like on the side of the keyboard, but only at the front. But it is what it is. Top of the keyboard is covered with aluminum, uh, aluminum or aluminum for, for you international guys. Uh, brushed aluminum, uh, painted black with only the trim is silver and the bottom is plastic. But uh, the keyboard itself has a good weight, about uh, 582 grams. So it will not go anywhere on your desk when you type on it. Uh, like I said, cable, um, nice, nice and soft, malleable cable. You can route it around your desk and this is how you plug it in very easily route it through the channel on the bottom of the keyboard and comes on the back again ideally i would love to see that option to be routed on the side of the keyboard some people like that kind of setup but unfortunately uh it's not the case with this one uh again that's not not a big problem uh let me get you closer to the key so you can kind of look at some of the options we have a key combinations for the uh, media we have key combinations for um, increasing volume and all kinds of other things that uh, you might find useful um, keep in mind that all, all of it is down to the fn and key combos or the dip switches in the bottom and again key combinations so if you really uh, want some more but uh, keys or uh, full size you got to go bigger but uh, I wanted to try these super small ones uh, and, and, and see how they're gonna perform in gaming and everything else. Uh, here I'm gonna put it right next to my currently uh, in testing keyboard that it's slightly bigger with a little bit more keys. Uh, I wanted to compare the size. You'll see I'll put them on top of each other. 
definitely a lot lot smaller without that extra row of keys on the top um, and a little bit lighter if you're planning to carry it somewhere lawn parties or whatever out, over to the office uh, keep in mind that it's going to be a lot easier to carry and here is the backlighting um, quite quite bright even in uh, in uh, you know lit up environment with the lights behind me uh, you can see the breathing effects you can speed up the breathing effects slow it down uh, or completely uh, disable it uh, you can adjust the brightness level like i said from zero to ten i absolutely love that because my ideal spot is around six seven so um, that gives me the options to do it or completely turn it off if you don't like the backlighting uh, overall, I think it's a great keyboard. I'm gonna give it a test in some gaming uh, and do a little follow-up video to let you know guys how this keyboard is performing. I have some good prefer peripherals coming around as well, some new mouses that I'm gonna show you. But this is it for now guys. Thank you very much for staying with the channel. Subscribe if you're new, hit the thumbs up. Uh, until next time guys, you have a wonderful day.